This is a story about Dunya Ivanovich, a hard-working and fully employed mom. Last year, she got the most precious gift, a daughter, Natalia. But she couldn't, like a majority of moms in Serbia, enjoy these moments carelessly. No matter how cute babies are, they need a bunch of things, which moms and their families have to provide. In the first month, Dunya and her husband spent his whole salary. In the second month, they borrowed the money from their parents. In the third month, they realized they needed to take a loan. Why? In Serbia, new moms on maternity leave don't get their salary on time. Dunya wasn't the only one, but she was alone. What options did she have? To continue borrowing money and repaying debts in the future? To, div to get a divorce and apply to become a contestant and marry Donald Trump? Or to join Serbia on the move in their campaign, Rights for Moms? All of a sudden, she realized she is not alone. Their first act was to announce their presence. One morning, in every part of Belgrade, baby's laundry was hanged on main streets and squares. People started asking, why is it hanging there? To unveil the secret, they organized a gathering in front of the National Parliament on the morning of March the 8th, 2014. 150 people announced the beginning of the campaign, with a simple goal, to get 250 moms to have one-on-one -on -one meetings with 250 MPs, to convince them to vote for change of law, so moms get their salary on time. For Serbia, the chosen tactic was highly improbable. In two weeks, 250 moms sent over 250 emails contacting MPs. No response. One day, 30 different moms called office assistants and asked for 30 different meetings with MPs. Politicians realized moms are quite serious. One after another, they were persuaded. Those who didn't get the first meetings soon realized they needed to do it before it's too late. So they were calling moms for meetings. Moms decided Mom. to build the power in the parliament first and then go to the government. On the day before the meeting, they issued a press release saying that moms have majority in parliament. We only need the minister's support. Did he have any option? On the 1st of July, moms declared victory. Since the minister promised an amendment by the end of the year and invited the campaign's core team to work on the amendments. Who wants to mess with moms?